today we are going to learn about json to xml conversion since there are like many methods in conversion of json to xml i'm going to explain very simple and easy method which will help us to do each and every uh, different pattern of json to xml conversions with different fields for example if we can take one of the pattern i just created a sample message this is our json pattern and i inserted like uh, different uh, sub fields over here which are taken from the hl7 message and even i inserted one another visit data over here with the uh, different sub fields what we are going to do we are going to convert this pattern into xml version and we'll see the sample output first we'll go to our merth integration engine and have a lot of channels over here i'll go ahead and click on new channel okay i can do it from here also i'll click on new channel and i'll give it as json to xml conversion and over here i'll add a small tag i can keep it as json to xml and in the data types i'll go ahead and change this from hl7 to json as we are going to convert from json to xml even in the outbound i'll keep it as json and i'm going to add my transformer code in the destination so i can even kept source as json so in the destination part i'll change this to xml no no really i'm going to change this to raw and i'll let you know why i'm changing this to raw because we can do our own alteration depending upon the requirement so i always prefer to keep it as raw whatever we are keeping in mirth it's not important what the output we are getting to the destination application is important so i'll use it as raw and even in the response it's my wish i can keep it as raw json xml it doesn't matter it's just the acknowledgement we'll get from the application so depending upon the application we'll configure it as of now i am just keeping it as raw not a problem at all i'll click okay in the destination it's channel writer in the source it's channel reader so no issues over this we are only focusing on the code which we are trying to put i'll go back and yeah this is my tag i'll save it and deploy the channel perfect what i'll do i want to remove everything i just want only json to xml i'll just click on everything shift and click on everything i'll undeploy all the channels perfect now we can only see json to xml with zero message if i go to channels even same here i'll just uh, filter out with the name of json to xml which i created previously i'll click enter that's it i can see only this now we'll go ahead right double click i'm going to create the transform in the destination i'll click on the edit transformer i'll click add new step javascript as it is the easiest way of doing anything i love it i already created the code in my github repository i will be pasting this uh, link in the youtube uh, description you can copy it as i am doing it i am just copying it and pasting it over here now i am going to explain what's actually happening for the reference purpose i'll just copy this part of the code and keep it over here so you can see uh this first step actually extract the data from the json so i am just creating the variable patient id and with this particular logic i am extracting the data so you can see uh this is the patient and this is the patient and this is the id so depending upon the requirements i created uh, the fields and sub fields and you can see the error here i already did one small error so i need to copy everything in the same uh format and the case sensitive so i'll just paste it perfectly now it it works perfect so this is a pattern of changing uh, anything from uh, json to a variable and here i intentionally did another mistake we you need to be always very careful about uh, creation of uh, any variable and this will work perfectly so for the example purpose actually i changed it previously i'll let you know how to do that now uh, with this particular segmentation we have already created uh, all these variables i'll go back to my code and i created another variable with the name of xml message i created this uh, template and hard coded as required so you can create your own template with this uh, particular json to xml example you can do lot of changes so it's very very flexible rather than using some other uh, package or anything i always love to do things in this way it's very easy to understand and it's very very simple to do changes okay yep you can see uh, the patient id is nothing from the patient id variable from here same with the patient name gender date of birth all the details have been plucked from the xml sample message which is over here now let's go back to code and uh, msg is nothing but the final output 
whether it's from the source or the destination the msg variable is the complete output so this xml message again we are copying it to the msg variable which is nothing but the output and even for the understanding purpose and easy to understand i already gave a sample message over here which is nothing but the similar sample message over here now let's see how this is going to work and uh, we are going to go back we are going to save this and deploy this particular thing i'll copy the json format and i'll paste it uh, over here and i'll click on uh, right click on it and i'll send a message i'll paste it and i'll process this message here you can see uh, the statistics of the data when i refresh it uh, mirth always works like this uh, it, it takes some time or else we need to refresh it so when i refresh it you can see the message has been sent now let's go and check i'll double click on it i'll click on the source it has been transformed i'll click on the destination you can see uh, this is a json format which we it is a raw message when i click on it it has been transformed to the xml format and the same has been sent and even in the response the message was raw so uh, we ha we have not been connecting to any particular application so we didn't get the response that's the reason i said it doesn't matter i'll copy this uh, json format and i'll show you the basic differences so yep i'll just copy it over here you can see uh, it's in the same format just that uh, we have been changing few things over here ignore the background uh, disturbances yep uh, we have kids over here yeah so when uh, you can see over here patient uh, you can see the patient tags over here similarly with the visit you can see the visit tags over here json to xml is not a very very big deal uh, the only problem we face with json to xml in math is like uh, there's little bit complications in uh, json when we are trying to convert from json to any other format or like any other format to json because we don't have some inbuilt functions uh, in math integration engine but yeah this is just the basic uh, very very basic example of uh, gsm tech xml conversion and you can see there have been not been any changes even if you want to learn json that's it uh, this brackets are nothing but a json format this uh, tags are nothing but an xml format uh, even you will use this uh, xml format in the html creation and css so it's not a big uh, myth or rocket science if i want to explain so just pulling all the details and even i'll go back to the code i'll go back to the channels i'll double click on it i'll go to destination edit transformer and it's not mandatory that you need to always pull details from json to xml you can always have your own code for example here uh, i'll i'll give something like uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 and i'll give double quotes let's see if this will get hard coded or not okay i'll go back i'll save changes i'll deploy this and i'll again send some uh, json format okay okay i am actually copying it the xml i'll go back uh, to notepad i'll copy this json and let's see what actually it reflects i am copying it i have processed it refresh you can see the message has been sent even yeah i'll go to destination the latest one in the transform section you can see the id is 1 2 3 4 5 6 but in the raw okay the id is 1 2 3 4 5 5 yeah the id is 1 2 3 4 5 5 5 5 i just kept it as 1 2 3 4 5 6 so here it's working so even if you want to hard code anything it will work without any issues i'll copy it over here for the better comparison not a problem that's it so you hard coded this to 1 2 3 4 5 6 5 if you want to hard code anything if you want to split anything there have been lot of videos i have been doing uh, you can refer them so this video is just a json to xml if you want to convert anything internally even uh, those videos will help you a lot let's go back to channel destination a transformer yeah you can name it as uh, json to xml or whatever it is this is this part is just for naming convention and see i haven't given anything over here i haven't given anything like no uh, message template or message tree this is direct a direct conversion even uh, an eighth class student can understand what is variable and try to do this conversion without any issues i am not using any any complicated functions over here i am not dragging anything so i always want to make sure uh, to explain anything in a very layman manner so everyone will understand i am not using any json to xml conversion or anything you can see this is one json to xml conversion uh, 
formula I am not even using this if required I can do videos on that in future but uh, currently this is a very simple way uh, this suits this code suits our tagline on uh, simple and easy that's it I'll be coming with more videos on JSON to other conversions thank you for the day bye see you